My name is Matthew and I'm 12. My name is Dan and I'm 13. My name is Dom and I'm 14. <laughs> My name is Leanne and I'm 12. My name is Carly and I'm going to be 11 on Sunday. And my name is Evan and I'm 12. And then the kids ask different questions. For example, why is the bridge yellow? Someone take that one. The bridge is yellow because it's kind of the path to victory like the Yogurt Road in The Wizard of Oz. But along while you're walking on the road, they encounter obstacles such as the trolls. And then a favorite question, which everyone from STEM would know, is uh, they often ask why your costume looks like that. And they ask that repeatedly, <laughs> like they did yesterday. <laughs> so who would like to talk about uh, So Tommy, tell about your costume. Um, well, I made my costume. Um, my fur is very thin because I'm young, and my fur is pretty pathetic. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, I made the horns big because Personally, when I was making the costume, I thought that it would be a good feature to have very large horns. That was just, my, mm -hmm. that was just a little thing I wanted to add on. Um, oh, the hose? I just thought they really look cool. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Um, I'm purely white because that's what we could find, and I have a soft, <laughs> soft white fur because I'm fabulous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And everybody petted you yesterday, didn't they? Oh, yes. Awesome. <laughs> I have the biggest, furriest legs because I'm the oldest goat. And m mainly goats have meaty legs. So that's what I'm going to <laughs> And uh, my costume was basically, it was, I wouldn't say, it was supposed to be pathetic, but yes, it was. Aww. Aww. <laughs> what did they all call you yesterday? Comedy um, a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But he was the favorite. It's a little goat mm -hmm. costume. And yes, we have our other troll there. <laughs> uh, I'm the trashy troll. <laughs> oh, he has a trash can on uh, I'm the oldest troll, and I got all these colors because it was supposed to represent like the sheep who like to be friends with us, and we're all happy, but in uh, relatively, uh, we would keep them there. <laughs> Yeah, basically the same as Angelina, and I chose like a jumper and high tops because I wanted to add like a hip hop element to it. Okay, so why you have, which was also a question yesterday, why Carly did you have get to have the hammer, the way cool hammer? Oh, the power. Uh, the hammer is a sim symbolizes power, and it shows the passing of power throughout the different characters. Hmm. So first it was me, then it went to Angelina, then it went to. And then, of course, everyone asked if you wrote the uh, rap. And since we actually have the author of the rap here, we're going to have him stand up and give him a round of applause. Are you kidding? That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Does anyone have any questions in the audience that they would ask? Any questions at all? Yes, Keaton. What does the moral of this story mean to you? <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> um, that maybe on your way to either success or what, you, like your dream in life, that there's going to be obstacles and all you have, to, you have to face them head on. You can't just like shy away from them. Matthew, what's your favorite part of the play? I think this goes without saying for a lot of us. It's dance, death, control, rap. <laughs> Ethan. Why is Elmer terrible? Because I'm fabulous. Hello. <laughs> what do you think of hip hop as a medium for storytelling? <laughs> um, I think it's a great way of creatively expressing yourself, and you are able to fit like a lot of content into different rap elements and R and B. What was what were some of the questions that they asked you yesterday that you remember that we haven't covered so far, Matthew? Um, they asked about why all the goats are different colors. All adopted. <laughs> <laughs> and there was another question over here. Um, how did the kids react when you did the outreach for the nine specific points that um, they really enjoyed? Or they all enjoyed Dan's dance. <laughs> and the rap. And the rap. Yeah. They liked the fact the girls were the trolls. They thought that was mm. awesome. Yes. Okay. 
me? How are you going to repurpose your costumes after this uh, performance? Well, I already had my legs because last <laughs> Halloween I jumped out of bushes and scared kids. And if you're looking for a place to donate it, always donate to the Heisen yeah, Thespian Society for creating. All right. Now, can you tell them what type of performance space? Adrian, what, what did they, you all perform on? Do you remember what it was called? Um, I forgot what it was called, but so there's a certain name for a stage with, all, with three sides covered. Jeremy, what kind of space is it? Amphitheater. Well, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. That's yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> was it warm in your costumes yesterday? Yes. 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 I was literally tripping. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wasn't even worried that much and I still sweated. Jason. Uh, what was the most difficult part in the production of this part? Mm -hmm. To me, the most difficult part was the Did you have to change your tonality from an outdoor environment as opposed to today inside? I had to change it. And not really. I, I still had to be pretty loud, but I don't have to be as loud in here because there's walls and the sound ricochets. Quattro, what was your question? Why are there four goats? So normally there were three, but we added a fourth for comedy relief. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. What was up with the comedy relief? Was he just with the trolls? To make it fun. <laughs> but he, he was never with the goats the entire time. Still, well, yeah. he was like, he was like, so, uh, so yeah, crowd. he plays like the goat that's trying to catch up. And then the sack. <laughs> Gigi, your question. So, how many hours would you say have you been working on? Eight hours and ten minutes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, for the time. For the time. Wow. And it's 